Hello and welcome to this video on the Danny Sound multi-mode ladder filter. This video is a demo of this Yoro Rack module and also a tutorial with nine patches for you getting the most out of your Yoro Rack or modular synth filters. Let's check out what's to come. Now up front I'd like to thank Funk for sponsoring this video. The multi-mode ladder filter is a twist on the classic transistor low-pass ladder filter developed in the mid-60s by Dr. Robert Moog and it's said to be a ladder filter because of the ladder-like image in the schematic for the original circuit that Moog developed. And the multi-mode ladder filter expands on that original design by being multi-mode, having additional filter modes, additional CV with attenuation, resonance compensation so we don't lose low end, and input level control so we can clean up or further saturate our input stages. Let's have a panel rundown to check out these features. We'll check out the raw sounds of this thing and then get into nine patches for making the most out of filters in your own synth systems. So let's quickly run down the module. We have our input with input level control, which we can set cleaner or that nice bit of saturation for that classic Moog filter tone. We can also push past that into some more soft saturation, for that lovely kind of filter afterburn type sound. Output up top, cutoff frequency control, resonance control, the typical low pass mode for a ladder filter design with the additional band pass and high pass modes on that button too. And then it expands on this ladder filter design with two CV inputs with attenuators, LEDs to show the activity of the CV coming in and an additional resonance CV as well. So we'll start as most filter demos do with a low pitch saw wave. We'll check out varying drive, various modes and resonance. Here's the low pass, zero resonance, and a fairly clean input level. And it's got that affirming deep Moog ladder sound. Push the input and some res. And listen to how the resonance changes and that kind of afterburn, as Nick Bat would say, as I push up the input level into more of this soft saturation. And there's loads of resonance on tap if you want it. Band pass. And nice to hear a band pass in this filter topology. Again, driving that input. And high pass. And again, nice to hear a high pass. With this rich ladder Moog style filter topology. So that's some filter sweeps and the raw sound, drive, resonance and filter modes. Let's get into these patches looking at creative and musical ways of using filters in a modular system. Let's pull some of the modulation and start basically with a square wave straight into the filter we can go from these nice tubby rich enveloped Moog like bass sounds to nice croaky 
Mikey Marsidicons. So I wanted to make a patch that will go from one to the other, and that led to using this envelope for accents, using envelopes to create better, more interesting accent patterns in an otherwise basic sequence. So all of these green cables, this envelope output, goes to a mult and then splits into the rest of the patch. And I've also got an LFO from another oscillator just off screen, which is static, but as you increase the amount of level out of the envelope, it's speeding up and ramping up my LFO. And the level control directly on the envelopes is perfectly jammable and nicely controllable in this patch. I go from this Moog-like sound to adding more resonance, a longer decay modulating the cutoff, and a faster LFO. And if I move to a pulse wave, this envelope also adjusts PWM. So with a great sounding bandpass filter, it's always nice to create some kind of phaser-like sounds to play off of something else that's droning. And that's what's happening in this sound. Coming into my bandpass, I have a nice mix of three oscillators. And I'm playing this in my mixer against just a droning, PWM, pulse width modulated sound. So together. This chord texture is bandpass filtered and played off of my root droning note. I'm using both of these VCADSRs as looping envelopes, or we can think of them as LFOs. And it's always nice to create some opposing, overlapping, out-of-sync rhythms. And there's just so much life and energy to this overlapping, kind of opposing, dual-looping envelopes. Mixed against my PWM sound. Now here I'm using the high-pass filter to round out and fatten this beat with pushing the input up with some soft saturation and sweeping across my drum mix. Now removing my modulation with a nice smooth high pass. But dropping the input level, we can hear it's quieter, if you listen really carefully, you'll notice the high end is that bit more prominent and the low end not as rich and full. Pushing this back up, the kick's kind of rounder and fatter. And I've got two bits of modulation that I would be playing with and kind of modulating live. One is an envelope sweeping up the filter cutoff. And one is a gated looping envelope that gets in some audio rate modulation. For some little accents, this is looping in the VC ADSR is set to loop, but only when a gate is present. So as I gate this, we get this gated burst of looping. And some interesting modulations of that filter there as well. So here we're looking at formant synthesis and vocal glottal yoi kind of sounds. My input is a saw wave. I'm using the sign out of this Danny Sound oscillator to modulate the cutoff. Now a low pass is nice for this vocal audio rate modulation, but a band pass just really has this nice mid-range croak. So here we've made this audio rate modulation, this FM frequency modulation of the filter's cutoff, dynamic. 
and dynamic because it's changing in amplitude and level. So the filter is opening with this burst of audio that's coming through. I've also got this envelope split in a multiple, so I could be opening the filter with the envelope and then adding in some enveloped amplitude controlled audio rate modulation too. This is all sequenced by a Turing machine that's been quantized and instead of the envelope I could take an expanded stepped Turing machine sequence adding the audio rate modulation with some really interesting dynamic filter movement. So here's my guitar into an input module and straight into the multi-mode ladder filter and I'm just using the envelope followed signal following the dynamics of my guitar playing into the CV control to move the low pass cutoff. It's a simple way to make an auto wire. Now this patch deals with two things. First, creating a pseudo low pass gate by coupling a filter with a VCA. And secondly, creating this dynamic, bouncing, responsive looping envelope or LFO. This is the EN129 with some Fruzero FM from an oscillator just off screen there. Into the folder, into the filter, into the VCA. By coupling a low pass filter with the same envelope, this blue trace, we can create a very flexible pseudo low pass gate. And then secondly here, I have a looping envelope which is set as such, simply looping at the same envelope, again all these blue cables and blue trace, into decay. We can have an LFO that kind of interrupts and jerks and is a bit more dynamic and responsive. So playing our tone control, i.e. the low pass filters cut off, with the envelope for our pseudo low pass gate, and some of that bouncing dynamic LFO with this great rich west coast sound. So here we're exploring the technique of pinging filters and creating this weird little abstract west coast type percussive voice. I'm pulling my modulation, I'll just simply unplug it. There we go, a filter ping. Now one thing we can do is play with resonance and mount is a way of controlling amplitude or the amount of clickiness. So here's a stepped sequence, this yellow trace on data. We'll plug in a volt per octave sequence as well. This isn't tracking volt per octave. That doesn't matter in this case. And let's add a little bit of frequency modulation from this oscillator. And that's tracking this same sequence as we're modulating with. Speed this back up. We've got these nice filter pings, more West Coast abstract textures. With all the sound coming from this filter. So here we're looking at some nice rich deep bass, taking advantage of the bass compensation that's present on the filter, and looking at this two-tiered approach to envelopes, mixing two envelopes, or in this case just plugging them in as we have two CV inputs, so I don't need a CV mixer. So having a little bit of that envelope and some of this one playing the less frequent gear pattern, I can have a bottom tier envelope sound and control and then open even further so it gives me this dynamic two stage two depths of envelope modulation adding in some random voltage to resonance and knowing that unlike a standard Moog ladder filter I will lose low end when the resonance increases because of the bass compensation I can push the input and 
undulate this thing freely and just have this endless deep bass to play around with. Thanks for checking out this video on the Danny Sound Multimode Ladder Filter. There's some more Danny Sound demo videos linked in the description and I hope that these patches have given you ideas for modulating and patching filters in your own systems too. There's an exclusive PDF patch book expanding on and outlining the accent envelope patch from this video and that's going to be exclusive to my Patreon supporters. So you can support me at the link in the description if you'd like access to that and to join my amazing Patreon community and Discord server too. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.